What we're hearing from the people who are their neighbors is that they never saw anything outwardly uh, alarming from these two roommates. They actually lived in that apartment right there. You can see the porch right over my right shoulder and that they, you know, they kept to themselves. They were friendly to some people. One neighbor said he even saw one of the men, Nadir Sufi, as a good Samaritan because he helped him in a medical emergency. Now we are learning some new details about Nadir Sufi. He's the man we don't know as much about because he doesn't have much of a record with the federal government. A source with knowledge of the family says that Sufi did live a few years in Pakistan in the 1990s after his parents divorced, that he went to a prestigious private school in Islamabad and he spent many of his formative years in Pakistan. As far as a man who does have a criminal record, Elton Simpson, he is much more known to people here in the Phoenix area. And we spoke to the head of the mosque where he has known him for some 10 years. And he says, still, even knowing this 2011 arrest that he had for lying to the FBI, he says he never saw this coming. Here's what he told us. He was always jovial, nice uh, to talk to. A, uh, a lot of kids around the mosque liked him because he played basketball and he used to uh, help uh, teach him basketball. I mean, he's, overall, he was a nice person. Uh, I don't know what happened to him. It's a, it's a shock to the community that he would be involved in such, a, such an act. And we also did speak with Elton Simpson's attorney, and she says that she's had a number of contacts with him over the years. But even that, even by defending him in 2011, she wasn't all that alarmed. She was frankly surprised when all of this happened.